Hey, it's Ricky here. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel. Now, in this video, I'm going to walk you through investing your first £100 with free trade. And I'm also going to walk you through all the features as well as how to buy and sell in the app. Now, I signed up for free trade a couple of months ago and I hold my 2021 ISO with them. And if you've never used free trade before and you want to get a free share, which is basically free money worth up to 200 pounds, then just go to the link in the description. The first link in the description, sign up and you'll get a free share. And once you've done that, just send me a message and I'll send you my net worth tracking dashboard. So basically you get a free stock and you get my 20 pound net worth tracking dashboard. So free money times two. Okay, so free trade really lowers the barrier to entry when it comes to investing. Now, I remember late 90s, early 2000s, when my dad used to buy stocks and shares, he actually used to call somebody on the phone and say, okay, I want to buy some of this now, and okay, sell this for me now. And I feel like it used to cost something like £15 per trade, um, £15 to buy and £15 to sell, which is crazy. And even when he moved over to a online brokerage it was still at least eight pounds to buy and sell as well as fees to actually put money onto the platform and withdraw it it was, it was honestly honestly ridiculous and i actually remember when i bought my first stock which was in 2015 it cost something around five pounds to buy and sell which at the time really put me off wanting to dollar cost average which is where you put a certain amount of money in every single month instead i just kind of put lump sum in i don't want to pay that five pounds every transaction which i don't know if that worked out for the better or worse but free trade on the other hand comes under this new wave of investing which is called commission free trading which means they don't take any money when you buy or sell a stock Apart from if you're buying an international stock, which they take a foreign exchange fee, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And you don't have to start with a ton of money. In fact, I think the minimum is only £2. And you can even buy fractional shares, which means you can buy a part of a stock. So you can buy, you know, half of a Tesla or Amazon or whatever, and you still get to participate on the upside. Now, you can only actually do that on non-UK companies at the moment. I don't know if they're planning to introduce UK, but you can't do that with UK-based stocks or ETFs. So I'm not a financial advisor, but like I said, I've got my own personal license with them. So I trust them. Also, free trade are covered by the FSCS, the Financial Services Compensation Scheme, which means if free trade were ever to go under, the government will essentially cover your assets up to 85,000, just like your bank account most likely is. By the way, that doesn't mean that if you make a bunch of bad investments and YOLO your life savings into meme stocks, that the government is going to come in on their white horse and bail you out. You're unfortunately on your own on that one. But if you have more than 85,000 pounds in investments, which I'm hoping everyone that's watching this video eventually will it's worth splitting that up over different platform just for that extra peace of mind so with all that said let's start investing okay so if you've never signed up with free trade before just click the link in the description and you'll be taken to a page like this and i'll just basically explain how you'll get your free share and then go over to google play or the app store and click install once that's done just click open and you'll be taken to a page that looks a bit like this and then you just want to click sign up and it will ask for your email address. You put that in, then you just go to your email provider and just confirm that. And you take into a page like this. So you choose a passcode. And so I've done that there. Then just some of the basic information, name, date of birth, UK postcode and address, your nationality and confirm that you're not a US citizen. And of course your national insurance number. Once that's done, it's just creating your profile and then you want to just choose your membership. You can just start with the basic one, which is free. And complete sign up. So it gives you some information on how to get your free share. Basically, you need to put at least one pound in and you can do that by topping up through your bank account or through Google Pay. And that's pretty much it. OK, so I created this ISA this week and I have wanted to buy some stuff and I've just kind of been waiting until I've made this video so I'm gonna buy some stuff and I'll show you how that works so when you log in this is the page you can see here so it's saying um 200 pounds so far um that's how much I've well, put in 200 pounds and I'm up 93p which is um I didn't mean to brag <laughs> 
but yeah you can see so i've got two shares of vusa at the moment and i've got one free share which is queued so we'll, i'll let you know what that is when i find out and if you want your own free share then just go to the first link in the description and yeah all that stuff okay so this is the first page that you uh, land on so you can see here this will show you basically the overview of your portfolio and as I scroll down, this is my watch list. So this is things I'm interested in. So I can just come in here and look on the portfolio page and I can just quickly look down just to see, okay, what's at a discount right now. And um, if I wanted to buy one of these, I'd just click on it and I can see on this page. So you can see, okay, this is over a year. This is the max time. So I don't think it shows you before 2016 for any of the stocks, at least that's I haven't seen one um, where it's showing you, but yeah, so you can scroll down here. It gives you a bit of information. We can see 3.26 dividend yield, the price to earnings ratio, uh, market cap, and then um, obviously the market open and the high low. And then it's got a like one to two line description down here. And we can go to insights. So insights will show you that, okay, this is how it's broken down. So at the moment, I've got 61% in stocks and 38% in cash, which is going to change by the end of this video. And then sectors, it just shows, okay, it's in other because it's an ETF. So discover, discover page is pretty cool. So this is um, where you would, if you knew what you wanted to buy, let's say Tesla, you just come here and type it in. So it also breaks things down into sectors and kind of just features different stocks that you could buy. So for example, we can see here cannabis companies, female CEOs, green energy, new ETFs, um, different sectors. So let's click on health and see what comes up. So we can see these different um, healthcare companies. Let's check out finance and also tech. So we can scroll down according to this, if this is how you want to um, distribute your portfolio. And then we've got the pop most popular P ETFs, most popular stocks, tech titans, US REITs. And then um, I guess this is the list of, I know they've got over 5,000, I think it's like 5,329 from memory. Um, I've got a feeling that's exactly the right number, which I'm pretty proud of. And then you can see activity. So you can see um, I topped up £100 and £50 and I bought two shares and then I topped up again. Um, account will just be, okay, um, if you want to top up, um, you can top up from here. If you want to withdraw, you can withdraw from here. And it also gives you the information of how much is withdrawable cash, how much is unsettled cash. So we can see here, so this is money from recent sell orders that haven't actually settled yet. Um, you can reinvest the money before settlement or withdraw once it settles and reserved cash money reserved uh, for your queued buy orders so this is if you're wanting to buy something um, and it's after hours you you'd put in an order and it would purchase 10 a.m. the next day so that's what it means by queued buy orders and then total cash so let's go and buy something so I'm just going to have a quick look on my watch list and I actually do want to buy some, I'm going to buy a couple of things. I'm just going to buy one, one each just to, just for this video. So when you go to buy, there's uh, uh, different types of orders. So if you're a free user, you can only do an instant order and if you got a plus account which is 9.99 a month you can do limit order which is okay when this stock which currently costs uh, 66 dollars when it hits 60 dollars then buy for me um but you can only do that if you've got their like premium account basically and you've got something called triggered orders here so it says buy o when the share price reaches your trigger price your order will execute at the best available price at that time so when you go to buy it's kind of strange you can't say okay buy one of these for me um you can only really you have to put in the amount and this is going to be you're going to see this in real time in terms of like the trial and error because i can see here it costs 66 dollars but obviously i'm paying in pounds so I have to kind of guess what $66 are, or obviously I can check it up on my 
Oh, that was a pretty good guess, actually. Uh, I could check it up on uh, my laptop or something. But let's see. £49. Pounds. £49.50. Pounds there we go. Review order. So it shows that, okay, um, this is the estimated uh, uh, foreign exchange conversion. Uh, this is the latest price. So uh, this is the number share I'm going to be getting. So they're charging me basically uh, about 60, yeah, 60 cents, which is, I don't know, like 40p or so uh, foreign exchange fee, which is fine. So confirm buy. And sending order. This may take a minute. That's it. Now I own realty income. So done. So now we can see this portfolio page. This isn't going to change that quickly because obviously I literally just bought it. Um, but you can see down here, it's down in my investments. If I go to insights and sectors, so you can see I've got 24% in property now and 75% um, in ETFs. And then in general, I've got 14% cash and 85% in stocks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to buy one fractional share. Um, I'm probably going to buy Riot blockchain. Oh, yeah, I'll go with Riot. Um, so I'm going to buy half of this. So $28, um, I'm going to say £10. Oh, close. Let's say £11. Let's say £10.50. Not that much. £10.50. Perfect. So you can see this is where I'm buying half and I'm going to sell this um, just so I can kind of show you how it works to sell it. Um, even though I do want to get some, I wouldn't mind keeping this actually, but um, I'm going to sell it just to kind of show you how selling works. So here we go. We've got it again. And um, of course I chose an American company. So I'm going to be paying f the foreign exchange fee to buy and sell. Uh, Oh well, <laughs> okay, so let's sell it. So when you go to sell, it's really strange. Um, even though I just bought £10.50 of this, um, I can't just put in £10.50 after. Uh, I'd have to choose how much of the share I want to sell. Um, I don't know why they don't just choose one or the other, or ideally give us the option for both, if you're watching this free trade. But I'm going to click sell all, £10.36. Um, so I'm guessing that's, I've lost 14 pence because, um, through the foreign exchange, through both of these, but that's okay. And sending order and there, yeah, there we go. You guys are worth the 16p and done. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, if we go up here. It gives you the option to um, upgrade to Free Trade Plus, which I'm probably going to do. Um, I've talked about this in another video, but when you uh, sign up for Free Trade Plus, it gives you the ability to earn interest on cash and 3% on £4,000 should work out to be £120. I don't know if they're going to add any, any extra fees, if that's like um, before taxes or how that works. But if it is, uh, if I do end up getting £120 a year from it, it cancels out the 9.99 a month. Um, so, and then like, right now I'm paying the £3 a month anyway for the ISA stocks and shares, so I get that free and then I get to um, get limit orders and also it gives you the ability to buy additional stocks. So for example, MicroStrategy was one that I was looking at and right now I'll show you what this looks like. So micro, if I go to, if I type in MicroStrategy, it shows it's got the plus sign next to it, which means I can't buy this unless I'm a plus member. So you can see there. And if I was generally searching for a particular stock, I could just come in here and type in, let's say VTI, which I know isn't here, but you can see that. Um, and then a VUAG, which I know is here. And that's basically how it works. So I can also just type in um, the name of the company. So I can either t type in Tesla or I can type in the stock ticker and it comes up that way so yeah that's pretty much it it's a pretty simple app 
you can see if you go back to the portfolio page, you can move between the different types of accounts you've got. So if you've got a general investing account, you can just click this button and you can switch accounts. If you've got your um, pension with them or stocks and shares ISA, that will be available here and that's pretty much it. So if you want to sign up, please click the first link in the description. And like I said, you'll get a free share. So we'll lie up to £200. And you might as well do it because it's free money. And like I mentioned, you'll also get access to my net worth tracking dashboard, which I sell for £20, so double free money. And that's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful at all, please do me a favour, click like, um, leave a comment, subscribe, all these sort of things. I'm a really new channel and that helps me out a ton because it tells YouTube to recommend me to other people. So if you found this useful, please do me a favour and do that. Um, and yeah, if you've got any questions, I'm always in the comments. So yeah, thanks for watching.